2022 is almost here and we need to end this with a big bang. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 picks for 2021 when it comes to 18 scale. But let's not wait any longer and check these out starting right now. What's going on guys? James with Model Cars Houston and if you've been following my channel throughout the whole year, thank you guys and I just want to let you guys know that I've got some cool stuff in store for 2022. Be sure to subscribe that way you can stay up to date on all those details and if you're thinking about starting the new year off right with some high quality collector grade model cars, check out www.modelcarshouston.com. We have a lot to cover here. Let's start breaking down this top 10 list. Guys, if you're ready for some stunning 18 scale collector grade model cars you have come to the right place I'll be sure to put some of these items in the description below if I have any in stock if you've been on the fence about getting one or if you've been trying to look for one of these then hopefully maybe I have some in stock this is going to be the RWB Super 9 uh, resin model. It just comes in a foam case, no plastic base, nothing like that. GT Spirit definitely went all out in terms of the accuracy and details on this thing. It is an absolutely stunningly detailed RWB car from GT Spirit. GT Spirits are running in around the 150th range. Uh, I'm not sure what happens when they become discontinued, but uh, you can see down here, these are limited to 50 1500 pieces and this is number 236. So GT Spirit Super 9. Next up, for the fans that love things that open up, it's gonna be the Auto Art Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk. This is the Martini version. This is considered the version two. I've actually done a review video for this. Fully open, 360 degree view, inside, outside, engine bay, the trunk here with the uh, air tank for the air ride. Everything is here on this thing. And just a stunning display of detail from Auto Art and the fact that you get open compartments and components is definitely an added bonus. Number two, Auto Art Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk. Next up at number three, we have this amazing one model NSX. Review video was done on this. Resin, sealed body, super high quality details. And the special thing about this is not only is it limited to 99 pieces, this is Kichi Tsuchiya's own personal NSX that he specced out with Honda back in the day. This is actually an 18 scale replica of that. The paint scheme, type of wheels it has, it's all exactly the way that he wanted it. So number three, one model Honda NSX. For number four, we have something super special. Uh, this item released close to the middle of the year, but it was a long awaited item. This is the Ignition model Honda S2000. Uh, I do have a few variants left over in terms of solid colors because they did release solid color versions. This is gonna be the Mao Edition, Hot Version, Toge, Race Battle Ready, Jay's Racing. Everything that you can think of has been thought out on this model car so another variant of a car that exists in real life with Jay's racing you can see the demon head on the hood I did do a review video on this something that's gonna be really hard to find nowadays in today's market but hopefully you guys were able to get one of these beautiful works of art number four we are looking at the Jay's racing Mal edition Honda s2000 Number five is going to be another special variant of a one model car. This is gonna be the Lancer Evo Voltex 9. This is going to be the cement gray variant. They did come out with a couple of other variations of this, but this is gonna be 50 out of 40. They made 50 of each color that's available. And actually special announcement, one model just recently announced that they'll be re-releasing a small quantity of four of their colors. And I'll be sure 
to link that at the bottom. Something that is special about this very cutting edge. You can see it on the other side. I've done it for you. That's right. Removable wheels, magnetic mirrors. As you can see, the mirrors are magnetic, which is a great add-on because you don't have to worry about it breaking. And the wheels are interchangeable. So not only can you put the wheels on magnetically, they actually have different brands of wheels that you can put on there as well, just like that. Really trying to change the game up for one model, but this is an amazing work of art and super hard to find. But this is going to be the one model Voltex Evo 9. All right, guys, we have made it to the halfway point. And if you've stuck around this far, give the video a like if you're enjoying what you're seeing. So without further ado, let's go to number six. Number six is a brand new one that Ignition Model just released recently, maybe a month ago. This is the Feed RX-7 hot version, Toge battle ready, much like the Mao S2000. If you guys recall, this RX-7 and this S2000 headlined one of the hot version episodes where they both raced against each other to try and run the quickest time on the Toge. So pretty cool to see these two models side by side like this. However, this is the feed variant. You can see it's got all the arrow on there, all the catalog of feed products. It even has this little placard for the hot version on here, just to show you guys that this was part of that. Fujita Engineering finally getting some spotlight time in the 18 scale. Uh, they've made these in variety of other scales as well, but a fantastic model. And I do have other color variants left of this one. I'll be sure to put that down below. Number six is going to be the Mazda RX-7 from Fujita Engineering. Engineering. Coming in at number seven is gonna be yet another Honda NSX, but this one is gonna be for the Spoon fans. This was a release that was done a while back, earlier in the year. We waited a very long time for this. This is from one model. This is the Spoon Sports Honda NSX racing version. Uh, you'll see that this is not numbered. However, one model has announced that they'll be making the number 95 version of this NSX. But as you can see, the livery is looking insane. The details on the engine bay, as you can see right here with the ITBs, yellow valve covers. It even has this sweet looking scoop that goes directly into the engine bay. It's got a full racing interior with just one seat carbon fiber overlay dash, Takata seatbelt harness. Guys, this thing has it all. Super special model. Coming in at number seven, Spoon Sports Honda NSX RGT. <laughs> Okay guys, we're at number eight. Number eight is going to be a very special ignition model. It is another RX-7. Guys, the JDM stuff for RX-7, NSXs, S2Ks was all over the place this year, but I could not skip this one out. This is the RE MMEA Spec FD3S. This is one of the OG cars. Love the details on this thing. It has the whole catalog of RE parts, spoiler, diffuser, body kit, hood, lights, everything. And it's the perfect complement to the feed variant, I feel. There's the logo, there's the plaque. A beautiful model, just came out a couple of weeks ago, actually. Definitely one that it, I did not want to skip out on. So number eight, ignition model, Mazda RX-7 RE MMEA. Number nine, guys. Number nine is gonna be another special one. I haven't taken it off the base for reasons because that I've kind of kept it in its box. This is the Auto Art fully open Nissan R34 Skyline V-Spec 2. But not only is, it, is this an R34 V-Spec 2, this actually comes with the aftermarket BBS gold wheels. They also made another variant with the OE OEM wheels, but I like this one with the aftermarket touch to it. Still tastefully done. Fans of auto art know that this is actually a re-release of an older cast that they had before my time of collecting, unfortunately, and so I don't have one. I was happy that I was able to get one of these. So full details, fully open, hood, trunk, 
interior all there love the flock in the uh, trunk here but the interior looks like it's on point but this engine detail guys looks fantastic and if you're a fan of the r34 especially in bayside blue this was one for you to try to get and auto art did come out with a variety of colors of this and different setups they're slowly coming out only a very few have come out so far but i'll try to keep you guys up to date on that so number nine is going to be the auto art nissan sky Skyline R34 V Spec 2. <laughs> All right, guys, we've made it finally at last number 10. And I'm not going to say that number 10 is my favorite. <laughs> and I don't want to say I saved the best for last. That this model is just a complete masterpiece. Sometimes I hate showing it off because people get mad at me because they want me to get one. But guys, number 10 is going to be the Top Fuel S2000. That's right. This is a one of a kind model from one model resin however you do get the cool tidbits of magnetic parts so you can actually take the hard top off here you can see all the race bits inside i have done a review video on this this also comes with magnetic wheels as you can see right there and you can put that back on doesn't have magnetic mirror so you got to be very careful there but the front end guys look at how aggressive that is all the downforce you would ever need racetrack ready super aggressive stand an s2000 done right in my opinion I kind of like this style, but you can put the hard top back on it. It even has the driver name on there. We all, I think we're all familiar with Nob. An amazing work of art. Only 300 pieces exist in the world. This is number 178. Guys, number 10, this amazing top fuel Honda S2000 from one model. I hope those that got one were able to get one. And the ones that didn't, I am so sorry. But at least you can see it here. And that was my top 10 list. So many cars, such a huge scale. But question of the day for you, what did you think about the model cars that I called out in this video? Were they part of your top 10? Or do you have any model cars that you thought from your list that could have made your top 10? Leave that down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Depending on when you see this, this is gonna be the last video for 2021. I just wanna thank everybody again for following me on this journey for collector grade model cars cars and i hope to see you guys next year so happy new year but i will put some more videos in the next slide i will see you in those videos or my next video